The story starts here along Highway 539. A 24-year-old woman hit by a car and killed, her body taken into the care of the Whatcom County Medical Examiner. The medical examiner's normal offices are undergoing renovations that are taking longer than expected. In the meantime, the ME is using Mole's funeral home to perform autopsies and store bodies. But over the weekend of May 10th, bodies started stacking up. Multiple sources tell King 5 that young woman was left unrefrigerated for so long, her body started to decompose and was covered with flies. Her family hoped to see her face one last time, but too much time had passed. Sources tell King 5 at least one other body was left unrefrigerated that weekend as well. People can depend on and know that they can trust. According to the company's website, Moles has been around for four generations with glowing reviews. But several people familiar with the situation say this is not an isolated incident, with bodies sometimes stored in a garage for coolness. Industry insiders who asked to remain anonymous tell King 5 the situation is inconceivable, another telling us the families deserve better. Exactly how this happened and who was responsible remains unclear. Whatcom County officials declined an interview request for this story, but issued a statement saying, we recently heard some concerns regarding the storage of bodies at a few funeral home where we have a facility use agreement for our medical examiner to conduct autopsies. As a result, we've decided to open a fact-finding investigation into the matter. Whatcom County Council member Ben Allenboss believes law enforcement should get involved, telling King 5 the allegations appear credible enough that there should be an investigation. Part of the problem could be the fact that there are only three refrigerated spaces for the county to use at the funeral home and overdose deaths have put pressure on the system. Moles did not return calls for comment. In Bellingham, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News. So in just the past few minutes, we did receive a response from the funeral home. It says the responsibility for the bodies lies solely with the medical examiner, saying in part, quote, reports about the mishandling of decedents under the care of the Whatcom County Medical Examiner's Office are grossly incomplete and unfairly tarnish the reputation of our funeral home. And, quote, we were acting as a landlord and couldn't move decedents without a request from the medical examiner's office, end quote. And it goes on to say, quote, it was the sole responsibility of the medical examiner's office to make arrangements for the proper handling of those decedents, end quote. We have the entire statement for you on king5.com.